Well, I'm here today in sunny West Green. It's a really sunny day today. And I am with Matt Brand. Matt, how are you, sir? Are you all right? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Now, I'm visiting you today to do with your son, yes. Ryan. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about Ryan and his situation at the moment. Well, Ryan's 14 years old. He'll be 15 uh, the day after the fun run we've got arranged. He, last year, had both his legs amputated. Left one in April, right in October through choice and we're trying now to raise some money for prosthetic limbs to help him run and get into sport. You told us before previously about Ryan and his legs and you said that the bottom of his legs really didn't work anyway so when it came to making the decision of yeah. he had an infection didn't he and when the doctor said yeah. you keep them well, well, it, it, you're it, not going to get to yeah. keep them he was he was actually really brave and said he, you he, take them didn't he? Well from the start he picked the infection up at free by treading on a nail beginning of last year the doctors told us that there's nothing they could do he still had a huge hole in the bottom of his foot and that he'll be on antibiotics for the rest of his life and and carrying on the way he was he wasn't happy with he does have spina bifida he had no feeling below knee his ankles were all over the place really they were quite deformed from lack of growth and so to remove the legs it was an easy choice for him mm -hmm. all we had to do really was find out if it was viable and if it was the right thing to do and the doctors agreed what a brave thing to do though yeah. still for a young lad yeah, definitely. very brave now you're going on a mission though aren't you because yes. he wants prosthetic legs well he, he has walking legs um but you know our, our legs are very multi-functional the legs that he's got at the moment are purely for walking uh, you're not even supposed to be able to ride a bike with these legs so there's there's different legs with different things uh we're trying to get Basically, I don't want to be able to turn around to Ryan and say, no, you can't do that because I can't afford it. We need to raise the money so that he's got legs. I mean, there's, there's wet water legs uh, for swimming. There's legs for running and jumping. There's legs for climbing. There's, there's so much and they're so expensive. So we're just starting out at the moment. We're trying to get him running, which is something he's never really done because of his spinal bifida. He's never been able to perform a simple task like that. Yeah. So now we're on the, the right road and he's, he's up and he's walking and he's, he's straight. He wants to run. Be nice to give him the option to do so, wouldn't it? And that's probably exactly, as a father, that's exactly how I feel. You know, I, I want him to, to not be held back. It's 2015, there's nothing to stop anyone doing anything. And if it only comes down to money, then that's a sad world we live in. And we've done a few fundraising events, uh, but on the 22nd of February, we've got a, a fun run in Goss Park, a 10k fun run and a 5k walk straight after. Either or, or both, entirely up to yourselves. It's £50 to enter, either by out of your own pocket or you can collect sponsor forms uh, sponsor forms sorry and collect sponsors um, if you collect more than 50 pound that's fantastic if you just want to put 50 in and come along that's also fantastic a minimum you're asking a minimum of 50 pounds it's a minimum of 50 what we i mean a prosthetic uh leg a running blade is going to cost you around ten thousand pound so if we can get 200 people to come along at 50 pound that's ten thousand yeah. pound if they all raise a hundred pound each fantastic we're getting both legs yeah. if more than 200 people turn up also fantastic so we, we, we've set ourselves a base minimum of, of what we would require really for the day excellent so now we're going to go and speak to Stuart shortly mm -hmm. and he's going to tell us a little bit about his the Morrisons have come on board obviously through Stuart haven't yes. they? because yeah. Stuart was the one that really felt that he wanted to get involved yes. yeah and he works at Morrisons and dragged them on board really didn't he uh yeah yeah he did really he's he's been the uh, the key figure in, in getting Morrisons behind us good good on him well we would like to wish you all the best of luck it's on the 22nd of February I believe it is, yeah. what time do you want everybody it's, there at Goffs Park isn't it it's at Goffs Park in Crawley um we're starting the run at 10 o'clock so obviously come just before uh there will be food vans there as well the run is at 10, the walk is at 12.30, so it gives everyone two and a half hours to get round. It should be enough time, but Excellent. we'll see. Excellent. Well, we would like to wish you all the best of luck. We're going to go down as well and um, be part of that, if that's all right job. with you. Great job, yes, please. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us.